Hello, welcome to the Eagle Success Off video. We're going to be doing a stress test on this uh, 416 uh, NGRS. Uh, this one has came in for uh, repeatedly uh, for continuing having a problem. Uh, so we've got to a relatively new um, selection of parts in here uh, that we've um, been trying out, which is the um, Jeftron Leviathan MOSFET, because we keep consistently trying to uh, uh, make that product work. Um, obviously, we, we, it does have obviously benefits on paper, you know, so, so obviously we're trying to um, uh, really dial it in. We've also got um, uh, obviously FPS pistons in here, which is a relatively new addition, um, and uh, uh, obviously the FPS full range of parts that we're obviously starting to use a lot more of versus uh, Prometheus. Um, so um, uh, just because obviously they're slightly more modern design and uh, obviously quite a nice price point. Um, so. Um, so uh, and obviously available, so which is cool. Um, so yeah, so we're obviously uh, uh, a few different parts in here, maybe over our normal builds and stuff, and 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 uh, this gun keeps on locking up, right? So we've um, uh, uh, basically had it apart to, to, to investigate. I did this time, and um, the problem is, is that in after the investigation. I think what's happening is it's actually a problem with the MOSFET. So in that, um, the, the, the Leviathan, if you basically log into it, like if I log into it right now, uh, with a default profile, as in no profile set, um, it will upload whatever I've last tuned onto the, the, the gun, right? Which means if I've then got somebody else's uh, gun set on there and I log into it, it now uploads that and now I've got to change it all back again. So what I'm worried is happening is because if you don't have say brushless mode set on this uh, or something, you can actually fire this incorrectly and, and it can actually potentially jam it. So on the other hand, it's, it's, it's hard to imagine, like say a, a physical jam, which obviously was, was happening, but the problem is, like, say, if, if the timing's out and it's possibly, you know, uh, like, say, all over the place in, in terms of because obviously, uh, you know, the active braking's not working with, with brushless mode not set and it's, it's firing, you know, half cycles, half cycles. And that. Is, is it then jamming and then causing the physical lockup? Or is there a physical lockup happening, which is then causing the jam? So we're not entirely sure on what chicken and egg is, is happening here, if you know what I mean, with regards to uh, and which one came first. Um, so, so we're trying again to obviously cover all our bases. So one thing we're going to be doing um, is, uh, and this is recommended online, uh, is to to password protect the 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 Jeftron so that unfortunately customers can't fiddle around with it. Basically, you know. So so uh, so now, if it's possible for customers to dial into it just simply by opening up the app and therefore change settings accidentally then we need to stop that happening yeah so uh, so unfortunately like I say whereas gate you log into that and it just pulls down whatever the settings are on the mosfet and then loads them if it's possible for jeftron to, to for you to log into it and it upload a whole bunch of new settings just simply by looking at it then we need to stop that happening yeah so uh, unless you know uh, i mean I, I could be incorrect but from my testing that seems to be what's happening so 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 yeah we obviously want to stop that happening so so we'll put a password on there and then obviously uh, um, if people want to change settings they'll, they'll have to ask and then obviously if the, the gun then then develops a fault uh, after we've provided the password there well then we know obviously just from 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 uh, you know process of elimination and scientific testing that we've obviously figured out where, where the potential issue is coming from um, so uh, so uh, just so just now obviously we've obviously now got our settings set correctly um, uh, I did make a few alterations in terms of AOE. Um, so in combination with the FPS uh, cylinder head in there, which has got quite a thick sawbow on the front of it, um, uh, I've removed all AOE adjustments on it, basically. Um, so um, uh, since they're only optional anyway, and uh, uh, just designed for some extra longevity on that, that rear tooth, um, i.e. for optimal pickup uh, without breaking backs off, 
well, obviously on the FPS one, it's an incredibly strong piston that has no real potential chance of you breaking the back off of it. So therefore, actually, really, do we need any AOE adjustments on it anyway? So so uh, we've opted for, for no AOE adjustment on this one. Um, there seems to be plenty of clearance. I've also got the uh, lightweight piston head uh, in there that we do, the 3D printed one. Um, obviously to reduce weight on the uh, piston assembly because the FPS pistons are quite heavy. So we've, yeah, so we've, there, there are some changes uh, to the build, but otherwise um, in terms of uh, shimming height of, of say sector gears, uh, that's all correct. Um, uh, you know, because obviously we double check that uh, Andy's work just to make sure everything's all right and, and everything's all, all, all actually good and fine. And again, we, we keep getting back to the, the sort of uh, situation that other than a, a small AOE adjustment, I can't really sort of see anything that's, that's incredibly wrong with it. So, uh, which we obviously didn't, otherwise we wouldn't have sent it out in the first place before. So, so yeah, so that there's this potentially, like I say, an incompatibility or something happening, uh, but, um, but it's, it's, we're not entirely sure. So, but like I say, there's two changes now been made. So um, obviously the adjustment to the MOSFET settings and uh, obviously the, uh, um, uh, a small AOE adjustment yeah so so uh, we're going to stress test it now just to demonstrate it working um, remember from obviously a perspective of, of a shop and our point of view uh, all we can do is make sure that these guns work before they leave yeah so so um, uh, obviously the rest and the long-term testing comes down to the customer uh, and as frustrating it is when that uh, that that proves wrong um, uh, obviously uh, we then obviously investigate, which obviously hopefully we're doing now, and, and then obviously we get it to a working state. Uh, if there's an intermittent issue happening, we have to have to try and figure out how that's creeping in there, if you know what I mean, to, 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 to be different than our current testing. But I'm now going to just basically uh, obviously stop talking and just um, rinse uh, a lot of ammo through this, just to quickly demonstrate it. Uh, I say quickly, it's not going to be quickly, it's going to take ages. Uh, so theoretically a battery like this is probably going to be what 13 14 mags so let's see if we can uh, we can use it all up i can even try popping it for a great start So it's obviously going to have to be a combination of full auto and single shots because obviously we're not sure on what scenario was was creating the issue if you know what i mean for the for the customer we also have to run the battery to basically dead because it is 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 the battery being run to a to a very low state therefore a slow cycle uh, on a uh, low battery therefore causing a jam as a result yeah so so again there's so many factors that we're potentially now going to have to just try and uh, test um, because obviously we can't game with this gun ourselves, you know, so
uh, warhead's doing all right on this uh, battery, isn't it? So it's uh, normally they're typically flat by now, aren't they? I think it's at least 10, I think. Try some expensive three twos. Sorry, the um, memory went on my uh, phone. <laughs> we can carry on. I'll try and splice these two segments together so it should look like one video, good video, but um, I'm not quite sure where we was up to. Uh, obviously, uh, So we've tested um, obviously this battery to almost flat and it's still going. Uh, obviously we'd recommend you notice that the uh, ratifier has dropped. Um, so that changing this out uh, obviously halfway through the day, uh, I probably wouldn't run it as low as what I've uh, done here. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got at least 15, 20 mags gone through. Like I said, I've gone through a full one of these, nearly three quarters of a pot of, of BBs. Uh, obviously the description from, from the customer is obviously that uh, uh, you know, it's, it's dying almost instantly, um, uh, slash after a first game. So um, I, I feel like we've fully tested it uh, to that point now. Um, uh, and again, uh, we do have to sort of remember that, uh, how long do I have to test this for? Do I have to take it out to a game myself? You know, um, you know obviously it's uh, with the exception of barrel rolls and triple flips, obviously I've, I've, I've given this a, a thorough blast. Um, uh, and I think, uh, and hopefully you agree, if you know what I mean, that it's obviously working. 
Um, we, we just, uh, uh, but then the, our problem is, is that uh, it was working before. Uh, and we've just got this X factor that once it reaches a customer, it stops working, you know, like I say, almost instantly. So I'm hoping that, um, uh, like I say, that it was something to do with that uh, uh, MOSFET because obviously, uh, well, what's different about our builds versus this builds? Well, obviously a big change would be obviously the Leviathan because Gate's out of stock at the moment. So, so yeah, obviously uh, 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 teething issues, shall we say, with, with, with those possibly, uh, getting to learn their eccentricities, um, you know, and hopefully, um, that was just the issue because obviously it makes it super simple for me and obviously gives me a bit more confidence that there's nothing wrong with the builds. However, like I say, uh, we've also made a change internally to um, uh, by removing the AOE spaces uh, just to make sure that it's not spaced too far back and potentially causing a, a jam. Obviously this particular build um, and obviously all of our builds, we're obviously uh, trying to push a lot faster than what we uh, used to now that we've got these uh, lovely new FPS pistons. They're very, very strong, a lot stronger than the Prometheus ones. Uh, and as a result, obviously, we're able to now run the Warhead high speeds. And it's a, it is a fast build. There's no two ways about that. Obviously, it's, it's rattling away. Um, so uh, so potentially, like I said, there's a, a timing issue there with obviously that AOE adjustment. But I personally think, like I say, it's it's fine. And, um, uh, but, uh, and like I say, it seems to be running uh, lovely. Um, the only thing I can think is, like I say, uh, uh, hopefully you agree that it's working. If not, I, I can do exactly what I've just done again on repeat before it goes out. But obviously, at some point, we're, we're going to have to let this one go back out. And and uh, uh, and and like I say, uh, if there's uh, the ultimate testing is is obviously with the customer. Um, uh, but hopefully, hopefully it's all dialed in and it's all good now. So, um, but um, but yeah, uh, let us know your thoughts. Um, but uh, I think it's ready. Uh, big old blast we've just done there. Like I say, probably one of my longest videos we've done in terms of testing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'd say at least what, two thousand rounds. So, so it's a lot. So and and it seems to still be going. So so my guess is that it's all good, uh, and hopefully you agree. So thank you.